I've debated making this video for a while now and eventually decided to just go about doing it because I figured it'd be better for you to hear my irrational decision from my own lips rather than through the grapevine. So what I'm about to do in this video is give you the facts and logic that convinced me to stop using TypeScript. So we're gonna just jump straight into things. And the first thing is the syntax. It is just super ugly and cluttered and hard to read. If we compare a side-by-side -side with JavaScript and TypeScript, we'll see that the TypeScript version, take a good look at that, right? We're gonna have to stare at that for a good five seconds before we can even figure out what it does just because how much clutter there is in the type annotation there. Now, an astute young programmer may say, but Ben, that's just the visual. What does that matter? when it comes to programming. And to that I say it has everything to do with programming. When you have a visually pleasing and not cluttered view of your code, you can easily pick out bugs, whereas they hide behind those nasty little type annotations that TypeScript adds. For example, I bet you didn't even notice in the TypeScript code that I showed earlier that there is a bug in it. We were too caught up in the clutter of the code to not even realize that that should not be a minus sign, it should be a plus sign. Contrast this with the JavaScript code which we saw earlier, which is accurate and correct. Now the reason for this is it's easier to pick out those bugs when you have nice visual clarity with an elegant language like JavaScript. So when a TypeScript developer tells you that their code has less bugs in it, you can now tell them that is a fallacy and steer them towards this video to educate them on the subject matter. Number two. TypeScript likes to sit on its little high horse there and tell you how it is type safe and therefore better. To that I say, JavaScript is type safe too. Take a look at this. See my code here? I'm gonna be alerted that I am passing in an incorrect argument here to my add function. We just need to give VS Code a second you know, to load things. Oh, oops, sorry guys. I just forgot to add my JS doc annotation. Let me do that real quick. And bam, there you go. We have type safe JavaScript code. Now just don't ask me to do anything fancy, okay? Generics and all that junk, eh. But it is good to know that we do support stuff in React, yeah. Check out these prop types, making sure my React code is type safe at runtime, of course, asterisk. Now at this point in the video, you may be asking yourself, hmm, JavaScript annotations, and prop types seem to be the same amount of work as TypeScript, but only give you, you know, partial gains or not as much as the benefits. So why would I ever do that? And that is a great question, which is why I write 0% of my code with JavaScript annotations. I just let it run around and naked, untyped. It's the natural way to do it. It can do whatever it likes. If I wanna pass in a string to my add function, I should be able to do that. All right, now we're on to numero tres, and that is the error messages in TypeScript. Take a good long look at this guy, read him twice if you need to. I'm guessing you have no idea what it means, and quite frankly, rightfully so, because it is written in a foreign language. You'll need a translator to understand this, and I know this because I am one, and many native JavaScript speakers have come to me begging for aid. Hi, Mr. Ben, I write the TypeScript code, but it does not work, help. And once you become a TypeScript master like myself, you'll be able to decipher messages like this and understand that what TypeScript is trying to tell you right now, if we translate that into JavaScript, it means you've currently misspelled your variable bib and it really should be spelled bob. Lastly, we all know taxes are terrible and TypeScript is a tax on your time. So, Taxes are bad, TypeScript is a tax, therefore TypeScript is bad. And so for these reasons, I am leaving TypeScript land and I am traveling back to JavaScript Island where quite frankly, it is royalty free.